now I'm at uh, Southeast Stark and Washington Street. I'm sorry, uh, Southeast Stark and 82nd Avenue. Gotcha. And what um, what have you been seeing out there so far this morning? So uh, the night shift has been relatively quiet. It looks like people are, for the most part, staying off the roads. But the majority of uh, East Precinct and what we're seeing out on the roads is some hard-packed snow uh, throughout the majority of the precinct. Um, and what about any closed streets? Uh, can you comment? Uh, when I was on my way into work, I saw uh, one closed street by Providence Park. I'm, I was curious to see how many um, you might be able to say uh, you've seen throughout the shift. You know, out here in East Precinct, we don't have that I know of any closed streets at this time. Okay, great. The, uh, like I said, people are taking it easy and staying off the roads, but you know, we anticipate cars uh, starting to come back on the roads here in a little bit. Understand that there were some um, abandoned cars, a lot of abandoned cars overnight. Um, have a lot of those been picked up so, uh, so far, or are they still been waiting to um, get towed or, or picked up? You know, I, I did do a spin earlier down I-205 out here on the uh, east side of town and saw a couple of cars that were parked off to the shoulder in uh, more of a, a safe uh, manner than I have seen in other parts of the city. I know there are still some cars where people have just left them in place. And uh, the recommendation, of course, this morning would be if you don't have to drive this morning, uh, then don't drive uh, so that you don't end up having to uh, have a car stuck in a situation like that. But for the most part out here in East Precinct, we're not finding a whole lot of cars left on the roadway. Talk to, uh, you know, speaking of, of staying home if you can, but if you have to go to work, um, I talked to a janitor uh, who was – uh, about two hours early to work because he, he wanted to give himself some time. Um, uh, what suggestions or piece of, uh, bits of advice would you would you have uh, as someone who's experienced in driving out in, in the snow for people who have to go to work? Um, you know, and how much time would you suggest uh, they give themselves extra uh, if they do have to make it in? Well, of course, we can relate to that. You know, people that have to be at work, the police and fire are, are two two jobs where we have to come to work. Uh, and with regards to how, how the officers make it in, they, they, they definitely need to leave early, plan ahead, listen to the weather forecast. We've had some very good reporting lately on warning when there's going to be a snow issue. So uh, it seems like we're getting a, a pretty good heads up on when these snow events are gonna occur. Um, and, and get to downtown, how much extra time would you give yourself? I would say definitely an extra hour. Okay. Uh, right now, it looks last look out on 205, it looked like traffic was moving, moving smoothly, but we just don't have the traffic volumes yet to really know how the morning commute is going to go. Yeah. So without knowing for sure how, how the commute is going to go, I would say at least an extra hour. And I know people were stuck last night for long, long periods of time getting home on the road. Yeah. And we definitely want to avoid that if at all possible this morning. There's a late start for the city. The city offices aren't open until 10 a.m. And I think that the hope there is is that the sun will come up. And once the sun comes up and starts hopefully melting some of this, we should be in better shape.